Welcome back everybody, my name is Greg Gagan and this is Greg Tech New Horizons. So when I last left off in the last video I talked about needing to go down into the nether and find me uh, one of the emerald veins. And it took me a little while, not terribly long, but it did take me a little while and I finally found one. So I took the time and I've been um, macerating up uh, a little bit of the emerald ore at a time. I was doing about four at a time to get eight of uh, the dust um, and then taking it upstairs and using my simple washer to wash it so that I get the uh, purified emerald ore, sticking it in here and just uh, got a hold of both an exquisite and a flawless which I have put down in here to finally knock out this sensor and uh, I believe that's an achievement. Uh, I may not have it unlocked up. There it is. Excellent. So uh, one of the other things I did just a minute ago was I finally got enough of the viz in my wand in order to make my second gold cap. So I went ahead and did that. Um, and so with that sensor done, oh, now they're going to give me eight more flawless emeralds. That's nice of them to give them to me after I worked so hard to get some. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and claim that. Um, and so now I have the sensor I need, along with the two pistons, the, um, the electric motor, the MV machine hull, the two wires, and the two circuits. And there is my good miner, which is very nice. As it says, it works in a... 33 by 33 area so stick it in a corner and it'll roughly mine out two uh, chunks on the map so if I stick it in one of these corners here you can bet it'll mine out all of that there not quite as good as sticking it in the middle of um, the 3x3 three three to catch the entire ore vein but uh, I'll take 2x2 two two over these 1x1s one so that I have to move it nine times in order to get an entire uh, vein of material uh, the other nice thing is now I can do something like um, I can stick it over yeah there it is my mica and like say I stick it here or something, I can mine up a good sized chunk of the mica ore. Um, that's one of the ones that I haven't really touched yet simply because um, I hadn't quite needed it yet. Uh, but uh, it is becoming more and more apparent that I am going to one, need to make more of these cooper nickel coil blocks. Uh, and then the other part is to end up making uh, the uh, next level up, which is the, uh, I believe it's called Canfall. Uh, the Canfall coils. No, nope, maybe not. Um, let's just look up coil real quick. Oh, K-A-N-T-H-A-L, not O-L. Uh, and those require this mica insulator foil, which comes from mica insulator sheet, which comes from these mica sheets and silicon dioxide, which is a mica pulp with some of the asbestos. Uh, and then there's the mica dust itself, along with some sticky resin in order to make the mica-based pulp. I guess I can use some raw rubber dust as well. I don't necessarily have to use the sticky resin. But if you've seen my base, I have that wall of trees that I can grab as much sticky resin as I need in order to stick in here and end up getting out some raw rubber dust. I guess it's a little more efficient to use the raw rubber dust since these make three of these. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, in any case, um, let's see. Uh, I also was able to make all 66 of my pyrolyze oven casings. So the next thing to do is to make that uh, oven controller. And then I'm also going to need to make, because the controller will tell you that you need to make uh, an input hatch, an output hatch, a maintenance hatch, a muffler hatch, and an energy hatch. And those all need to be at MV level not LV level. So I'm going to be making five new blocks 
uh, to go with the rest of the oven in addition to nine more cooper nickel coil blocks so that I can continue to use my EVF over here and have that um, paralyzed oven. So yeah, um, now that I've got the miner done, uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm probably going to need to make um, a full set, a full double stack of mining pipes so that I can stick it at the top of the nether and let it just mine down and collect all the stuff afterwards. Um, I may even need to go so far as to upgrade this chest instead of using a regular chest, um, upgrade it to iron, maybe gold, um, maybe even a diamond chest, just so that I have enough room there in order to uh, collect all the stuff that the miner is going to get for me. Um, I may even take it over to the um, over to the Twilight Forest and pull out as much of the Almondine and um, let's see, what's the other one that comes with the Almondine? Uh, Pyrope. Uh, pick up a ton of that in order to uh, really solidify my um, my hold on the oxygen and the aluminum so that I can start building more of these MV tier things. And so hopefully the base will uh, expand and change. Um, I may, like I said, I may come up here and this entire thing may look completely different the next time you see it just because I'm, I like this, but I don't like having to go upstairs to do all my, my, all my stuff and then downstairs to do all my processing. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but in any case, uh, I will uh, catch you here after I get a bit more done. And we're back. Um, I didn't do any changes with the base like I thought I was originally going to. Um, instead, what I focused on doing was um, I ended up coming over to this mica spot. And as you see with this little brown spot up here next to the mica, um, I stuck my miner there and basically mined out the two chunks surrounding it. Um, it ended up getting me almost four stacks of mica along with the kyanite and some of the other things. So I've gone ahead and uh, found spots for it. I put the asbestos and the polysite here uh, in order to just ore wash those guys. Um, I ended up putting um, the mica, um, where is the mica, down here? Yeah, mica, some regular cassiterite ore to go with the cassiterite sand, and then the kyanite is also in here as well. The kyanite, of course, being really good whoops, for um, getting aluminum and oxygen uh, that I can use. Uh, down below. In the meantime, what I did end up doing was I temporarily put up my um, my advanced precision laser engraver and my cutting machine, and I ended up doing the sets of quests here from the ILC and RAM to the integrated circuits to the good integrated circuits all the way around to creating the advanced HV tier circuits. Now that has not unlocked um, the HV tier yet and I suspect that's because I need to do uh, the stainless steel. I might possibly also need to do the advanced chemical reactor and the uh, advanced assembler and the advanced fluid solidifier. Uh, so we'll see if I need to do those. Um, I've got them. I believe I've got all three of those over here on my list of stuff to do. Advanced assembler, advanced chemical reactor, oh, the pyrolyzed oven. Uh, so I guess I still need to add in there that I need to do the uh, advanced, uh, what was that, fluid solidifier. There we go. Now. I've been lazy. I have not done the diesel. Like I say, I've got all the parts to do diesel, but I have not actually set it up yet. So with that, um, I think I want to focus on the advanced assembler next. Um, yeah, I'm still stuck between whether I want to do the pyrolyzed oven or the advanced assembler. The pyrolyzed oven, of course, being the, uh, the next multi-block goal. Uh, specifically trying to get this guy done. Um, and NEI hasn't been open, so it doesn't want to load it up yet. 
There we go. Now I should be able to see it. There it is. Just requiring three of the processors, a couple of pistons, a pump, and some cooper nickel wire. So that's that's going to be a little bit of a setup, but I do finally have, like I say, I made the four advanced circuits. I made four good circuits. I've got two of the other ones, and then I had ended up making a stack of the lower tier early electric um, electronic circuits. So I've got those that I can use in order to make some of the MV tier stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess I'll uh, figure out which of those two I want to make. Maybe I'll get both of them set up and ready, and uh, I'll see you back here in a bit. And we're back again. It's been a couple hours. No, not a couple hours. Maybe an hour. Maybe that. And uh, I've gone ahead and made all the components I need for both the assembling machine and that, um, and the, uh, uh, assembling, uh, uh, sorry, I already said that one, the assembling machine and the, uh, pyrolyze oven. So, go ahead and get this stuff set up here, and we'll go ahead and use that one for now. This guy, and those, and there is my advanced assembling machine. And if I put these guys in here and get them all set up, there is my pyrolyze oven as well. So let's move that real quick. And I've got my advanced assembler and my pyrolyze oven. And apparently I've got a subquest for SMD circuits also. That's interesting. Where is that quest? Oh, because I got the assembling machine. It went immediately here, which needs the advanced assembling machine. How interesting. So the next bit then is to work on making some of those guys. Um, these guys uh, are a bit easier uh, than their originals. Um, although, well, okay, so this, this one isn't too bad. Uh, it takes two of the polyethylene, four fine electrum wire, and a carbon dust, and you'll get 16 resistors, as opposed to, I think it's one carbon dust plus four fine copper wires plus four um, uh, copper wires and some molten polyethylene, and you get like four resistors at a time. So it's nice to be able to get a quarter of a stack uh, at a time there. Um, same thing with the diodes. The diodes are nice too, except that they need fine platinum wire. Um, so what I have been doing lately is when I am upstairs, when it's not dark, um, one of the things that I've been doing, because it's the only way I know of to get access to it right now, is to the um, thermal centrifuging nickel. So I've been doing some nickel. Uh, there's, I still got 29 to go there, uh, but it gives you a byproduct of a tiny pile of platinum dust. And so then every nine of those, you can make one pile of platinum dust, and then that'll make eight of those. Um, uh, it'll basically, yeah, every ingot will make eight of those fine platinum wires, which will get you a half a stack of the diodes. And I, the diodes are probably the ones that I cannot stand the most. Um, it does take an entire pile of gallium arsenide. Um, so I'm not sure which of those two I like more, whether it's the SMD diode or the regular diode. And the reason for that is because the, the regular diode, when you start using wafers, um, does not use nearly as much gallium arsenide. Um, thankfully, I have my good miner, and uh, I just finished making some mining pipe so I could actually go up to the roof of the nether and with two stacks of the mining pipe, I can go from the ceiling to the floor and hopefully get some more Relgar ore for every uh, four chunks that I end up taking out. So that was next up on my list of things to accomplish is to go and start at some place, uh, some place that might be useful, maybe above um, some copper or something, or better yet, probably above a... Um, uh, a spot that has, um, shoot, uh, not nether quartz, but the other one, the certus quartz, and the barite, and the quartzite. 
Uh, if I can get those above one of those, uh, then I'll collect those materials in preparation for the next steps ahead. Um, I also went ahead uh, and while I was waiting on other things, I knocked out uh, 84 uh, mica-based sheets. Um, I still need to get the silicon dioxide in order to deal with those. So I'm going to take a look at the recipes and see what the easiest way to get through uh, the silicon dioxide is so that I can take these things, make it into the mica insulator sheets, and then run it through the bending machine to make the foils uh, because those foils are used in all of the uh, coil blocks uh, as a way of crafting them. Uh, so that way um, I can get started on, um, uh, basically I need to make the nine for my, um, for my pyrolyze oven. So I wanted to get that done ahead of time. And then that'll also leave me the extra that I'll need anytime I need to make like the canfall blocks. I'll already have a bunch of these uh, ready to upgrade my EVF. So yeah, uh, I think I've done pretty well this episode. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. And in the next episode, um, there might be some base changes, um, but I will probably be working towards this advanced fluid solidifier, the advanced chemical reactor. Um, it looks like I do need to work on these SMD circuits, so I'll probably put some effort into getting those. Uh, and in order to do that, I'm going to make sure that I get my miner set up in the nether to find more Relgar ore. Uh, hopefully it'll find some small zinc ores in the meantime. So anyway, uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Till then.